We're moving out. We're not paying rent anymore. We're going to live in a truck or an RV or bus or something. If I was looking for a Class B, I'd probably be the one. Not likely. Let's get the hell out of Walmart. We're looking forward to more of this. It's box truck curry. Hey guys, so I've just strolled up, just rolled up on the, the local Walmart here. We're gonna be uh, vehicle dwellers now. You know me, Har Har in the back. Can you see her? Hi Har Har. Of course we have Dopey the Great Dane over here. And uh, you know, we're, well, let me show you around here. This is, uh, this is the spot, the local Walmart. I can even zoom right in there. You know, like, this is, this is where the vehicle dwellers want to be. I see over there, way back in the distance, there's a guy in a van. See him? See him there? You do. So he's, he's pulled in for the night. And uh, we're, we're just getting close to sunset. The sky is getting a little dark. It's a little breezy. The flag's blowing. And this is home. This is where we live now. We're looking forward to more of this. In the van. <clears throat> Somebody's not happy. It's just the trials and tribulations of Walmart. So, since uh, I've been diagnosed with a terminal illness, cardiac sarcoidosis, I also have systemic sarcoid. It's through my whole body, but we'll talk about that another time. You know, I can't afford on my, my disability income to pay rent and survive, really. So we're going we're gonna to move into a car, the three of us, and life's going to be great. I've been watching all the channels on YouTube. Har Har too. She's been watching them. Say hi. Say hi, girl. Say hi. Oh, thank you. Face licks are awesome. And we're just working out the, the wrinkles. So I, I, got, I got most of it figured out. You see? I got the plastic bag for when I need to take a dump. Got to have that. I've got the prime spot right here. Right beside the... The little garden area thing. So, you know, when I need to take a piss in the middle of the night, you know, I just jump out and water the tree, right? Like, you can do that at Walmart. It's it's all part of the Walmart camping. Because this store, it's not 24 hours, so I'm going to have to take care of that at night. And uh, what else? Oh, right. Yeah, I got to go in. And uh, what do I need? I need some baby wipes. That's right, because, you know, when you live in the car, you need baby wipes. So what do you think? Is it a good plan? Like this uh, this Mazda 3, it's got enough room for, for a Great Dane and, you know, me and a Doberman. We can live in here, right? Like, she only takes up, what, the whole, well, let me, let me show you. So Dopey, she doesn't take up much space. Little dog like her, you know, just one seat. Har har back here, tiny little thing. I'll just, I don't know, how am I gonna do it? I guess this is what I'll do, I know. When, when I wanna sleep, I'll just lay, 
lay back. And this will be this will be good. It'll be restful. I can just live in the Mazda 3. Yeah. And life will be good. Not likely. Let's get the hell out of Walmart, go back to my apartment, and look online for something decent we can live in. Because this, this thing, that thing, me, we're not living in a Mazda 3. This is ridiculous. We need a little bit more space for the three of us. Right, Dopey? More space? More space than the car? Yeah. Okay. You're the boss. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, Dopey. What do you want to live in? A van? A school bus? What did you see? What about a school bus? A van? An RV? What else? Step van? box truck what is it what's the one what do we want to live in we're starting full-time van life car dweller vehicle dweller come on let me know what do you think no answers she doesn't have much to offer thank you well at least she can offer love we have Dopey here to help. She's good on the computer. Yeah, aren't ya? So, I did a little searching, pulled a few things up. If I order a price. Now, that van looks kinda cool, but you know, at 7,500 bucks, that ain't gonna work. I want, it's gotta be under five. You know, you got nicer van, nine, Trailer, nine. Another trailer, nine. I don't want a trailer, though, because I need to be stealth. It needs to be big enough for for the three of us, you know. A dopey, she's 160 pounds. And the Doberman, har har, you know, she's 77, I think. This is the cheapest high-top van, like Class B, anything that would be kind of almost ready to go. But you know, it's 10 grand and it's old. It's gonna need repairs and stuff. But you know, it comes certified, runs great. It's 90s. If I was looking for a class B, I'd probably be the one. But uh, it's not stealthy. How do you live in that in the city? So let's, let's keep looking here. 17. 55. None of this is any good. No good, no good, no good. So, what is good? RVs, campers, and trailers. Pretty much nothing. Nothing cheap. We're into the thousands. So, no camper vans there. This one, just in the, the automotive section for a van, this would be pretty good. It's got a lot of good points. It's uh, 160,000 kilometers. It's the V6. If I'm going to buy a van, I want a V6. I want the fuel economy so I can drive around. Canada's a big country. You know, and the U.S. is big enough, too. This one, 3,900. 2003, it's a V6, only 160,000K, certified and e-tested. You know, it's the best one I could find on there. But it's no, no high top. Like, I, you know, it's the two things. I got to be stealthy and I got to stand up. So what does that leave? What do you think, Dopey? What does it leave? What can we live in, Dopey? Come here, girl. Come on, come here. She She's having a nap, and that's, you know, that might be her favorite hobby, but 
It's not helping us get a place. No, we're moving out. We're not paying rent anymore. We're gonna live in a truck or an RV or bus or something. What's your advice? Pick one out, pick one out. It's too small, isn't it? Dopey says just a regular van is too small. So what do you do? Cube vans or a box van or a box truck. That's what I'm thinking of. You know, the U-Haul style. Because they're a lot cheaper. You can get old ones that have got new engines and trannies. Like this classic one here could be kind of cool, but I want uh, I want something that's more like that. You know, new enough to be fairly fuel efficient, but old enough to not have too many tests. So, what is the best vehicle to live in? Like, I guess it depends on your situation. Where I'm at in the Toronto area in the summer, there's no free camping. There's no BLM land. So I want something that's stealth. An RV is not, not going to work for me. Uh, you know, a van might be good, high top van. It's a little small with the dogs, but it might be doable. But they're hard to come by at a good price. Like I'm looking five grand, right? So what's that leave? Uh, you know, I, I really think a cube van, box van, box truck is uh, a good option. You can find them around, good condition, rebuild engines and transmissions. They're pretty cheap to buy. They're a reliable highway drivetrain, go forever. Easy to build out, big rectangular box, park any light industrial area, near stores, uh, truck stops, anywhere. Man, you could tuck in, tuck in just about anywhere in one of them, I think. What else is there? Is there something I'm missing? What what would be another option? I gotta be able to stand up. I need stealth and I need room for me and the two dogs. Can't think of anything else. Hmm. I don't think there is anything else. Let me know if I'm wrong. Well, guys, let me know your thoughts. Is that the right box truck to go with? Should I try something else? Full-time van life of some sort or another is coming very soon. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the new videos of the build come out. I'll be buying a truck, building it out, and making a nice little home for me and the dogs. Okay, <clears throat> hope to see you there. I'm Box Truck Corey, and that's my opinion.